everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to roast a whole chicken and it's going to be butternut and beer flavor. Doesn't that sound awesome? It does to me anyway, that's what I want. So you're probably wondering how the, on earth I'm going to get butternut squash flavor and beer on my chicken. Well I have this awesome butternut and beer chutney by Major Craig's and you can find this at Harvest Barn Country Markets in the Niagara region here uh, in St. Catharines or in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Um, if not, <laughs> puppies like it. If not, you can check them out online at majorcraigs.ca. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to coat my chicken with a little bit of fat. Now, if you want to use butter, you can. If you want to use oil, you can. Bacon fat, whatever. I have some pork fat that we had from a pork roast we did the other day that has all kinds of flavor. Mm. I save all that extra drippings for all kinds of things like this, and I just dole a little bit out as, as I need it to flavor certain things, right? Yum. So I'm just gonna cover that with a little basting brush. I probably took about, I don't know, a tablespoon of this stuff. Now this is so already packed full of flavor, it's really gonna help us with this save, the savoriness of this dish. Make sure you coat all that chicken. Anything that your chicken has already touched, uh, it, uh, touches, or your hands or anything like that, make sure that you're washing them thoroughly so that salmonella contamination is not happening, okay? Okay, this chutney is has the flavors of sweet apples and red pepper and butternut squash. It also has some corn in there and Bo's All Natural Lug Tread Lager. Um, it's an ale. So this is sweet and spicy. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're using a separate bowl for any kind of ingredients like this and I just scoop as much as I need out for this particular purpose for the chicken. So I'm gonna use about probably a tablespoon again. Now there's some nice big chunks in here that obviously won't stick to your chicken. And that's all right. So coat this up again. Now I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees at this point, and I'm going to let that roast in the oven for about five minutes, just to get you know browned up a little bit, get a nice little bit of a, a crust on the outside, and then I'm going to cover it up with an aluminum foil tent to continue the roasting on about 350 degrees. Any big chunks can go inside the cavity. Try this using other chutneys that you have or different kind of sauces that you have in your cupboard. You may have never thought of using it this way. Oh, it looks so good. It smells so good. Now, the reason I want to, to use this beer flavored stuff is that we're also going to make some um, Irish style side dish tonight. We're going to make Colcannon and that's potatoes and onions and, uh, and uh, cabbage. So we're going to kind of keep with a little bit of a beer theme because that's one of the favorite things that come out of Ireland, just great dark beers and ales and lagers of all different kinds. And I think my chicken is completely coated at this point. Now, next things next, I am going to transfer this into my baking dish. Before I do that, I want to spray it with some good spray to make sure that it doesn't stick at the bottom. Use bacon fat, use oil, use whatever you like. Just make sure it doesn't stick, okay? I like to roast my birds breast side down. It keeps them much more moist. So before I transfer it, I'm going to put some extra um, seasonings on here, some salt, some pepper, all over, and a little bit of cayenne pepper, just because we like that, a little bit of spice. Now I'm going to put it in here, breast side down, and I'm going to season the other side of the bird. Okay, I'm going to season the other side. I put any extra chunks inside the cavity that I had left. You definitely can't put that back into the jar to eat again because it's contaminated at this point. Okay, so salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, it's ready for the oven. Here's what it looks like. If you want to stuff it, you can. With a bread stuffing, a rice stuffing, you can put a lemon in there if you want. Whatever is clever, okay? Into the oven it goes. Now I've set my timer for five minutes. I'm going to check on it, make sure it's not burning. The fact that it has this chutney on the outside, it could burn. There's things in here that could burn much more easily than just regular spices and chicken skin that you usually would throw in to the roasted chicken. So you want to keep your eye on it and have your aluminum foil prepared, a little nice, a nice tent for it, and that's just going to lay on top of it for the remainder of the cooking time. So keep your eye on it. Also, make sure you spray the, the shiny side of your foil that's going to go bird side. Um, that way it won't stick to the skin and pull it off. You'll be really mad if it does that. This looks ground up and beautiful. I'm going to let it go now. I actually turned it up a little bit. I wasn't sure how the um, 
chutney would do on the outside if it would burn or not, but it did a wonderful job. So you could turn that up to 425 and let that go for roughly 10 minutes. That's about what I ended up doing. It smells awesome, eh, Mom? Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to try this. This is gonna be great. Anyhow, it's gonna go back in my oven and you can put the tent on if you want. I'm actually gonna leave the tent off for a little while longer, let it roast up just a little while more on the outside. But I'm gonna check it in about 20 minutes just to see what it's looking like. Turn your temperature down to 350 degrees and let it rock and roll in there. It's time for the aluminum tent for the chicken. It looks really nice and browned. This has been another additional 10 minutes or so, 12 minutes, yeah, 12 minutes. So this is what it looks like right now, and I'm gonna cover that up loosely back into the oven. I'm gonna let that chicken go for roughly another 40 minutes. I'm looking at, what I wanna look at is about one hour for a whole roasted chicken. All right, so I'm, I always check on my chicken part way through as I'm buzzing through the kitchen and I see that my bird is nice and browned. I'm actually gonna bring down the temperature to 325 now. It has about another 15, 20 minutes to go and this is gonna be fantastic. Take a look at this. Oh, it's gonna be so good and it smells unbelievable. Can't wait. Back into the oven. My chicken is ready. My side dish of Colcannon is ready. Make sure you check out that recipe. It is awesome. Cabbages, cabbage and potatoes together, a classic Irish dish. You're gonna love that. Here comes my chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Now, this bad boy, I think we should let it rest for about five minutes before we cut it all open because the juices are just running wild. We have lots of nice pan juices. They're gonna be really tasty on top of your side dish of potatoes. Come on, you wanna scoop that on there for sure. Anyhow, the skin is nice and crispy. It smells unreal, and I can't wait to eat this, so you'll see me in about five minutes. Okay, this chicken has been sitting for a few minutes, and now I'm gonna cut off one of these wings, and Mom and I are gonna share a wing for you guys, tell you what it's like. So we're gonna eat a wing. Mom, I'm gonna take the flat. You take the other part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give this to you, and I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Let's try this. This looks awesome. It looks beautiful. Look at this wing, all crispy skin, all glistening. It smells great. Mm. Mm -mm. That's it's a good really, chicken. It's really, really good. It's really, really moist, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's mom approved. What a great way to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, this wing is good. Out of this world, Kim. Yeah. Mom just said it's out of this world. We made quick work of that wing. <laughs> very, very tasty, very tasty. Okay, so I'm gonna show this one to you one more time. This is how you make that butternut and beer roasted chicken. I guess I should show you this side with the, with the wing intact. There you go. You want one of these. I know you do. You want this coming out of your oven right now. <laughs> and right now I also have my um, coal cannon coming out of the oven, it's broiled, so. So that's gonna be a perfect accompaniment to this really great chicken dish. I hope that you guys try that. Try different sauces you have in your pantry or in your refrigerator that you didn't maybe think of using to coat a chicken and roast it with. I love doing that, it's so simple and easy. And don't forget, you have some of those nice chunks, those fruity bits inside of the chicken as well. Mm. So if you wanna know where to get this stuff, you can go to majorcraigs.ca, or if you're in Niagara, go to Harvest Barn Country Markets in Niagara Falls, or sorry, in Niagara-on-the-Lake, or in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Anyway, that's how you do it. Beautiful. I hope you try it out. Make sure you check out Mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.